note before we get started, I'm taking the next week off, so new videos won't come until the first week of January. Now, let's get to it. Hello photographers, BD Richards, Gary Hunt, and many others have been wondering what back button focus is and how you use it. Back button focus is a camera configuration that assigns the focusing action to a different button, separating it from the shutter button. It's called back button focus because traditionally the button you assign for focus is on the back of the camera. Normally, you press the shutter button halfway down to make the camera focus, and when you press it the rest of the way down, it takes the photo. And before you can take another photo, you have to focus the camera again, even though the camera was just focused on the subject. With back button focus setup, when I press the shutter button, the camera immediately takes a photo, regardless of what the camera is focused on. And it's only when I press this button here, which is my assigned focus button, that the camera will actually focus. Now that's all back button focus is, which is pretty simple, but using it can make your photography easier in several different ways. First, it helps you avoid unnecessarily refocusing on the same subject over and over again. For example, I'm often shooting a model that's holding a pose that I want to get several shots of. With back button focus, instead of having to focus the camera for every single shot, I can lock focus with my focus button, and then I can take as many shots as I need with the shutter button. And when the model adjusts the pose, I hit my focus button to refocus the camera again, and then I can just again shoot as many shots as I need with the shutter button. Now another example of this is shooting landscapes. Let's say you've got the camera set up on your tripod to shoot a sunset. With back button focus, you can set up well before the sunset starts, get a good focus lock on the scene, and then as the sun sets, you can take as many shots as you need without having to focus every single shot you take, which is particularly helpful as it gets darker and darker into the sunset, because as it gets darker, it gets harder for the camera to focus. The second way it helps is by allowing you to maintain focus on your subject in a dynamic scene. So let's say you're shooting street photography and you're focused on a subject across the street and as cars and people are passing in front of the camera, you want to make sure the camera stays focused on your subject. With normal focus operation, as you shoot the camera, the camera could change focus from your subject to the cars or people that are moving in front of the camera, which could potentially ruin your shots. But with back button focus, that won't happen because you've locked focus with your focus button, and as you shoot with your shutter button, your focus will not change regardless of what's moving in front of the camera. And finally, back button focus is great for sports and wildlife photography. In this case, you change your focus method from single shot where the camera locks and holds focus to the servo or continuous focus mode where the focus will track a moving subject. With this setup, you can hold down your focus button and track the subject as it moves using the shutter button to shoot. And when the subject stops moving, you just release the focus button and then keep on shooting with your shutter button. Then when the subject starts moving, again, just hold down your focus button again and you're back to focus tracking just like that. Now some photographers out there say that everybody should use back button focus, but I disagree. You should definitely try back button focus, but here's the thing, do not go to an important shoot and try back button focus there. If you do that, I guarantee that you will hate back button focus because you won't be used to using it and you will miss your shots. Instead, you should practice with it, and when you practice, do it in situations similar to those you would normally shoot in, just don't don't use it during a critical shoot until you're comfortable actually using it. Now if you want to give back button focus a try, to help you out I've created a free back button focus guide. To get the guide just click this link or if you're on mobile click the info card up in the corner here. And if you have any questions about back button focus let me know down in the comments and if you have any other photography questions put them down there as well and then do me a favor would you like this video and subscribe to my channel if you really like this video share it with your friends but the most important thing you need to do is get out there and take some damn photos i'll see you guys in a couple of weeks now normally when you take a photo i need my camera i totally forgot to grab my camera <laughs>